All right, what's up, guys? JR here. It is Thursday, September 7th, 2017. And I'm going to see if I can demonstrate a failed break lower right here. Wasn't planning on making a video today because it is, in fact, my birthday. So, um, not really trading too seriously today because I have other things to do. But I took a short right here. I dropped a limit order once we broke beneath that. It came back, filled me, and then we dropped on down because I figured uh, we had multiple attempts to go higher. We were in a bit of a trading range, so there's some pretty clearly defined support right here. Didn't particularly like going short into it, but if you notice these lows are progressively getting lower, and I mean these highs are progressively getting lower and lower, and we still didn't make it down to retest the lows of the day, so I figured it was worth risking, and we were most likely going to, in fact, push through this and come down and test it, and then I like taking it for the failed break out of that range and buying it right back once we came down here to retest um, the support that's right here and it's a bounce off of the lows for the day so I like this for a nice little failed break uh, I wanted to record this short actually but I was on the phone um, when I was in that trade so I couldn't record that got off the phone and then this big bullish bar set up we actually traded we opened right here traded all the way down to the low turned around and reversed and went out the high all in the same bar so I just put a limit order one tick um, on the close one tick better than the initial entry uh, hopefully this will set up a nice higher low right here this is probably the safer entry if we do get the higher low but this bar was so bullish i liked entering on that and then um with the failed break and then the support being right there so i do like this setup we're a little ways away from the ema not too far but we should be coming back to test that and test this area of support so i just want to demonstrate a failed break there's multiple reasons why this should go higher right here so uh yeah, uh, my stop is at 6 ticks, so that's going to be 59.25. My entry is 60.75. My first contract is going to come off at one point, which is going to be 61.75. Then the second contract, I'm just going to drag it up to these highs, just because. So we'll see what happens. Uh, that's 7 points, so that's up at 67.75. Maybe we'll catch the low of the day right here, and then that'll be interesting. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go to pause and I will be back once this trade starts moving in uh, in a direction so I'll be back alright so we are um, basically one tick away from this exit one more thing that I want to talk about is I've been having some problems with my data I don't know if it's my data per se or if it's the platform but basically what's been happening is that I've been experiencing a whole lot more bars than what a regular 2000 tick chart should be displaying okay so we're out on that first contract I'm just gonna go ahead and move my stop up to break even and let me mark this trade actually but yeah pretty much my chart has been um, displaying a lot more data than what it should be uh, the bars are printing faster uh, let me show you an example I don't necessarily have an example per se but I know a date where I first started noticing it and I actually sent my chart to Mac and um, asked him what he thought about it. It was August the 28th. Let me just show you guys and then you can go you can go back and pull open. Uh, Alright, so this is August the 28th. Basically just go back and look at the chart review for that particular day and compare this chart that you see with all these pullbacks and all these little bars compared to the amount of bars that you may have had on your own personal chart or you can look at Max chart and see that basically I have a whole lot more data on here and a lot more entries and pullbacks than what he in fact had so today I mean on this day it was actually semi helpful it helped me out a little bit because it gave me more trades regularly when that stuff happens it's terrible because I get a lot of false entries it happened to me last week I called my broker um, the guy compared the chart he was like yeah I do notice what you're talking about so I think he he, uh, what did he do? I think he deleted it and then upgraded me to like multi charts 11 or something like that. I was initially on multi charts 10. He bumped me up to 11, and that fixed the problem for about a week or so. And then yesterday I was having the same problem again. My bars were messed up. Uh, I took a trade, lost. Took another trade, lost again. And I'm like, why am I losing consistently like this? Something doesn't look correct. These bars are moving a bit too fast. Uh, so I called them back, they looked at it, and basically he pretty much said, well, I spoke to somebody, and what's going on with you is that since you're on a live server, your data is actually calculating the ticks faster, so that's a good thing. 
and blah 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 there's nothing wrong with your chart and in the back of my mind I'm like okay I've looked at this stuff for long enough to know when something isn't correct I compared it to the midday chart I compared it to someone else's chart I have a significant more amount of bars than what I should have there's something wrong with my chart and basically he was like yeah it looks fine to me um, sorry pretty much you can try using another platform so uh, that kind of pissed me off um, I reloaded my data it went it went back to normal after I reloaded it but the reason why I'm telling you guys this is please some of you guys add me on Skype uh, my Skype name is the same thing as my um, my YouTube yeah YouTube username add me on Skype and please send me like some pictures of your chart or something throughout the day so I can compare this stuff and make sure that my data isn't all whacked out and all that stuff because it's it sucks it sucks not knowing if your chart is correct and if what you're taking is real or if it's fake because I've entered um, I've entered on some fake entries and lost and wondered why I lost and then looked at someone else's chart and the entry that I took wasn't even there so that's pretty much all I have to say about that add me on Skype we can exchange charts um, and just excuse me and see what you think about what's going on and you can see what I think about what's going on so Skype name is the same thing as my YouTube username fortune loop you can go ahead and add me on that and uh, yeah that's a failed break lower we pulled back tested this little breakout area so we could come back and stop me out now we're bouncing off the EMA so I won't be surprised if I do get stopped out it'll be nice if I catch the low of the day right here but it may not happen but ultimately we should head to the other end of the range and if I get stopped out here I'll probably I'll probably pause it look for another trade and um, I'll probably trade till about two o'clock wasn't planning on trading that long but since I started making a video and I missed recording this one then I'll see if I can get one more but yeah I'm just gonna go to pause really quickly and uh, yeah I just got stopped out on that so yeah and then another thing about this thing is it's been stopping me out when it doesn't even touch it so as you can see it didn't touch my entry price because my entry price was I don't know exactly what it was but it was in line with that bar it was right here so it was 6075 we only came down to what is that 6075 yeah we came down to 61 another thing I don't like about this is how it it shows you each individual little decimal point I would much rather prefer if it just rounded it to uh, to to a quarter because that makes it simpler instead of sitting here trying to figure out exactly what it is but it didn't touch my entry and yet and still I got stopped out on that pullback I don't know if that's something because it's sim or what I've talked to them about this stuff they said oh since it's a simulated environment it's not the same exact thing as a live environment you shouldn't have those problems when trading live seems a little bit suspect to me I'm not trying to knock multi charts or anything like that but I've definitely had some issues with it that I'm not completely satisfied with and um, when I was using Ninja I, I can't remember having any issues what's, whatsoever but I've had a fair amount of issues with this platform. I like the way it looks but I don't like um, the glitches and things of that nature that I've been experiencing because right now I should technically still be in this trade and um, my profit and loss ticks are pretty much never, they're never in sync. Um, I get entered in on stops when it doesn't even touch my entrance sometimes so that's obnoxious and uh, yeah now I would be stopped out so that's fine but still imagine if this thing had just kept going and then it came back and fictionally or whatever you want to call illegitimately stopped me out but yeah I don't want to go on a rant or start rambling because I don't want this video to be too long but I'm just gonna pause it and I'll look for another trade if we keep going higher we could go lower but so far it's a range day we've been inside this range swinging back and forth so ideally it's gonna bounce and I'll look for another opportunity to get long so yeah alright so there's a failed second entry short right here that's coming right off of our trend line um, only problem is that it's right back into this area of resistance so I'm gonna leave that one alone it did kinda pop off for a second but uh, I'm gonna see if we get a pullback and if I can get a lower entry that's a little bit better it could take off and just keep going kinda like how this one just went straight up but I'm gonna see if I can get a better entry for this alright so <clears throat> we have another attempt to go lower right here and then a fairly bullish bar there's a gap right here 
Uh, I still don't really like entering this close to the highs, but I do think that we are still going to go higher. Um, ideally, I would like to see another failed attempt to go lower, but I don't think that that's going to happen. So instead, I'm going to see if I can sneak in right here. Uh, two ticks better than what the initial entry would have been. Uh, probably should have slid it up to right there just to ensure that I got filled when we closed that gap. But trying to be a little conservative I really should slide this down farther because I think we may come back and test this EMA again but I don't want to get left behind if this does in fact pop first contract is going to come off at one point which is going to be 64 flat if we're able to get in this then the second contract I'll probably move that up to a tick or two before these highs but we'll see how this thing goes um, may or may not get filled right here uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go back to pause and I'll come back as soon as something happens. Alright, so I just got filled on this entry. Probably should have slid it down lower because I think that we will pull back and maybe test this again. But if you notice, we have a pretty decent amount of support stacking up right there. Not to say that we can't still in fact go lower, but this resistance is right there. Um, we'll see what happens on this one. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten my stop to one tick beneath that so that's a six tick stop entry is going to be at 63 flat stop is going to be at 61.50 first contract is coming off at 64 which is the highest to the tick of this little move up so yeah we'll see what happens all right so we're bouncing off my uh my first target right now went ahead and marked my trade this is really your signal bar because uh this is really the swing low and this is the uh the ultimate failure to go lower again all right, so we're out on that first contract. Just going to go ahead and move this up to break even. But this is a much this is the bar that you want to enter above. You don't really want to enter above this one, but your stop does need to go below this one. So I put my arrow right here. I basically used this bullish bar as my signal bar. Going to go ahead and slide this second target up. We entered at 64, so let's go for I think that's okay. We'll go for 3 points on that on that second contract. So we're going to take that off at 67 if we can make it up there. And, oh no, I didn't enter at 64. I entered at 63. So that's four points. Excuse me. But, um, yeah, pretty easy trades. This failed break was pretty much a gimme. Once you start stacking up like that and you have a little bit of a range and then you break out of the bottom, usually you're going to come back and test that. And then that in conjunction with it being right at the lows of the day after testing that multiple times, then you get a nice bullish bar that far away from the EMA. I like that a lot. So I took that one, took this short right here. This one is a bit more debatable due to the fact that it's pretty much overlap. And usually you're better off waiting until you fail out of one direction or the other and then attempting to enter that trade. But with these highs progressively getting lower and lower, I may get stopped out right here. But let me move this to the side but um, with these highs progressively getting lower and lower uh, I like that for the short you have a failed second entry long which actually fails right here so that would have been a good place to enter um, you're a little ways away from the lows but when we kept kind of creeping down going down and then it was pretty obvious that we were gonna go lower this EMA slanted at that point so when we broke beneath this I just went ahead and put a limit order right there at those lows and uh, it was a quick move it went straight on down and then I bought it right back right uh, right when we hit that bottom and got that big bullish bar so I like that one and then this is the next one that I like uh, you get your failed second entry short right here it's right off the trend line but I didn't like taking this initial entry because it's right back into those highs so I liked kinda waiting I guess you could call this a breakout pullback because we break out of the top we pull back test this EMA again then we close with a nice bullish bar so I like taking that one right there Figuring at least you'll get a retest on this move, although you may not, but I do think that we're going to go higher since we did in fact come off the lows of the range. And this is pretty much as rangy as it gets. There's a clearly defined support, clearly defined resistance, and we're swinging back and forth. So most likely we're coming up here to these highs. So I like taking that. It's another opportunity to get long, good, strong signal bar. So I like that one. Um, yeah, we got our scout portion, and now we'll see if we can get this four point runner. Pretty big, but. We'll see what happens. Make it stopped out right here. Could come back, make like a, a bearish reversal bar, turn around and come back and retest these lows again and stop me out. But all that matters is that we got our scalp portion. If you had entered on a stop right here, I don't know if you'd be out. I'm a big fan of these limit orders because uh, sometimes you will get left behind. There's been numerous times where I've gotten left behind on really nice trades, but other times you'll use a limit order and you'll get out where you wouldn't have gotten out on a stop. 
so that's quite helpful and it also uh, makes your exit a whole lot um, <laughs> makes your exit come a lot faster um, and it ultimately reduces your risk because you can trade with a smaller stop because uh, you get in at a better price so I like the limit orders but it's looking like we, we're probably going to get stopped out here it'll probably pull back test this EMA again or it'll blast straight through it and come back down and retest these lows doesn't really matter I don't really care as long as I got out on the first portion that's all I care about but I'm gonna go to pause and I'll be back alright so I just got stopped out on that runner so uh, that's gonna be it for today um, two recorded trades three all together actually I took four trades because I got long right down in here with the limit order I dropped it down this this was kind of like a mess around trade uh, basically it was a second entry long combined with the failed second entry short we broke above it and then we started kind of racing down to the lows and I put my limit order I think right down there and um, it was an easy trade it got out relatively quickly and I shorted it again right there bought bought it again down there and then I bought it again right there so that's it for today um, I guess you can say I wasn't necessarily trading too seriously today since it is my birthday and I kind of wasn't around for a good portion of the trading day and um, yeah I'm planning on I'm planning on stopping right now anyways so I saw this setup I liked it and then I saw this one and I figured okay this is basically a textbook fail break um, really nice setup right here I'm a big fan of that so I said okay why, why not record this tried to record this but I was on the phone and uh, I had a feeling this fail break was coming so I had to record this but that's it um, add me on Skype guys we can exchange some charts and all that stuff just so I can compare and make sure that my data is in fact operating correctly and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully I don't know how long it is but my goal is to not make another 30 minute video like the last one because that's a bit that's a bit much but this is JR I'll see you guys sometime next week uh, yeah take care